and welcome back to Beauty Within. <laughs> so today we have another challenge for you guys and it's something that stems from within, something that we might have all struggled with at some point or another or still are struggling with. But before we jump into that, I want to introduce to you guys Yulia, our new host. Yulia! <laughs> I am Yulia Seikens. I'm an actress from the Netherlands, from Amsterdam. All the way over Ooh. in Europe. So we're <clears> going <throat> to kick off this challenge together this week. But before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click that button down there right now. <laughs> so because the girls are doing all kinds of challenges in their videos, which is fun, um, I mean, not always fun, but not you know. always fun. It's a little challenging. It is a challenge. That's the challenge for <laughs> challenge. So I was thinking to do something that touches all us from within. And I thought about what about self-esteem? Because, you know, living in this world, you know, the crazy social media, the mm -hmm. selfies, the, the programs. I mean, what we do. Yeah. Um, also, like the acting industry that I'm in is just it's a crazy, crazy world. Where Everything is just so critical. Exactly. It's always judging you and you just it's like a lot of pressure. A that lot you build of pressure. Up on exactly. If I go to an audition or any other actor or actress, I could say no, 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 no. And then you know you just go home and then you just feel very, uh, very low of yourself. I mean you shouldn't, but that's what happens. Right. You know, with so much pressure. Yeah. So we always have a pressure to look a certain way, to dress a certain way, speak and act in front of like you know not only your followers but also the people around you and it's like this image to hold which can get so burdensome and I think we want to explore what are some healthy ways that we can overcome it. Yeah and in my experience you know when you have all this pressure you know uh, the next day you're just gonna go back to that audition and you're gonna be there bright and shining you know and that's uh, it's very difficult it's like where do you get this energy, this confidence. Is there some sort of a pill, a magic pill to boost your self-confidence? Unfortunately, no. No. Oh. <laughs> we wish, but no. So, you know, uh, we came up with this um, trick, with this easy trick that can trick your mind, baby. <laughs> An idea, a very simple trick. So simple. After all, the greatest wisdom lies in simplicity. All right, so with all that said, our challenge this week is before bed, we're gonna state 10 things that we are grateful for in ourselves. And this can be physical or psychological. And I think this is going to be a little harder than you think because we don't normally just give ourselves compliments like that. It's exactly. Awkward. <laughs> and it can also be something uh, that you like, that you love about yourself, but it can also be something that you dislike, dislike. So but you're grateful twist, but it's for. The other way around. Exactly. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> this will be interesting. Oh yeah. Not the nails. Let the <laughs> challenge begin. Day number 1 self-esteem challenge first day of self-esteem challenge <laughs> oh my god first of all i felt very uncomfortable talking to myself and like saying thank you for my this it's like <laughs> it feels so weird <laughs> this is so awkward to to name the things to be grateful for it's not that easy as you might think. I am grateful for... <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> I have been outside asking some people, what are you grateful for? I'm not the only one who had troubles with it. Um, yeah, where to start? Um, I'm grateful for my health every day. That's the first thing that made me realize, like every day, how important like to be healthy is just to be able to get up out of your bed, that you can breathe and that you walk out the door and you do your things. I don't take it for granted at all. I know lots of people who 
don't have great health. So it is really something to be thankful for. How important actually every part of this body is. We aren't all lucky enough to be you know, born with all our limbs. I'm grateful for my body because I really appreciate it to have such a good shape. I am grateful for my bones. They keep my flesh together. For my thick feet. <laughs> me, me, me. My lungs. They help me breathe. Also, I was very tired because <laughs> I was really doing it before going to sleep. The reason for doing that before going to sleep is that um, because that's the vibration that I will go to sleep with, you know, and that's how the magic can start to do its job. Yeah, you know, if you like mention those things, you know, the teeth, the nose, the lips, the ears, it's like, I don't know, it brings awareness with it. I'm grateful for my teeth. My teeth? I guess like my teeth. I'm grateful for my ears. They allow me to hear, to enjoy music and to hear people and to hear sounds. I'm grateful that my ear is retarded. <laughs> Looks like a butt, oh my gosh. It is something I would never share. <laughs> I'm grateful for my nose, my potato nose. I used to like kind of hate this, but every time I smile, it like wrinkles up here. We might dislike some of it. I'm grateful for my thighs. Mm. I'm grateful for my stretch marks. Why do I have this? I'm grateful for my butt. <laughs> I'm grateful for chubby cheeks because it does make me look young. <laughs> yeah, it feels kind of... I don't even know what to say, but it's like, okay, all right, okay. My woman's cycle, yes, I'm grateful for cleans my body, makes me a woman, and stimulates everything. Yeah, I'm grateful for that. Yes, even though it can be annoying, but actually I am grateful for it. Some things that are annoying are actually sometimes the best things for us. It always made me feel so self-conscious, but now I think it's a sign of, I don't know, like being a woman. You know? It's like I'm opening my soul and you're looking into it. Grateful for my wrinkles. Am I really saying this? Yes, I am. Because they represent everything I've been through. And so they're like a very important part of my life actually. All these like scars on my face. I was not always grateful for these. You know, during that time it was really difficult during school. Like you would see other people have really nice skin and you're like, why is this happening to me? Over the years it gives you thicker skin. You know, like on how to deal with your physical insecurities. It builds you into a stronger, better person, right? I am also grateful for my weaknesses. Because it's by feeling weak to I realize how strong I actually am. Or how strong I have been throughout my entire life or tough moments, being in this industry, acting industry, but also in general, I mean, life. Look at life itself these days. It's, they don't make it easier for you whatsoever. I'm grateful for my sense of empathy. 
I think it's, it's something that stayed with me my whole life and has opened up meeting people and um, understanding situations or being open to possibilities that I'm not directly involved in. I'm grateful for being confident to speak to other people, to do everything I, I can do. I'm grateful a lot for my, probably, for my kind of power that I can change myself if I see that I need it. My ability to turn any negative situation to a positive one. And it's interesting that it was very similar, the things that I was grateful for and the people I asked. My fluffy hair. My long hair. My hair. <laughs> <laughs> My hair, I guess. <laughs> Color blue of my eyes. My eyes. Bing, bing. <laughs> like my eyes. <laughs> eyes. Did I have a green eyes? <laughs> my eyes. Um... While I was doing this challenge to be grateful for, and I've been confronted with, uh, with my mother's health. She has some health issues, um, mainly her heart. Yeah. It makes you realize how fragile we are how fragile a human body is and how everything is connected. Which brings me even more into a state of being grateful. I would like to say that I'm grateful for my heart. So it gave me this awareness. Where are you and where do you want to go? And you don't like something about yourself and you just like keep on digging onto it. Mm. There is a difference in liking something or truly being grateful for it, even if it's not perfect. I don't like it. My oily skin. I still hate it. You know, with every fiber of my being, I dislike having such oily skin. I've really come to be grateful for and appreciate the fact that it is like that because it's also anti-aging. You're putting a layer of gratefulness, but you're like taking away off a layer by layer. Things that I dislike, they're not so important anymore because then I realize what is really important. Is that possible? I don't know. I believe awareness, being grateful, it's the key number one for any change physical emotional yes i feel positive changes yeah it's not like oh my god i am oh my god <laughs> i'm gorgeous it's not like that but i definitely feel it has impact you can't take life so seriously i mean you know obviously there are things that you have to take seriously but then there's also things that are really just not worth being concerned over and you can just laugh it off. Which is what I do in most situations. <laughs> Grateful for my self-esteem, so I know how it becomes so good, but it's good. My optimism. My soul. <laughs> I do. I hope you enjoy to be inside my soul. <laughs> oh, I still feel awkward, actually. I lost the train of thought. I have a question to you, girls. I mean, I have let you into my body, my world. What about you? What are the things that you are grateful for? I would like to know. So you can comment below. And, uh, and of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. That would be fun. Bye. <laughs>